Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to add a altitude hold system to your plane in Stormworks. Now, it doesn't have to be your plane, it could be any plane. The system should work for every single type of plane that there is in Stormworks at the moment. Uh, obviously, it could vary from plane to plane. However, we are going to go over the components that are needed. Along with that, we'll show you how to all wire them up and configure them for your own plane. So that all set, let's go ahead and get started. So to start with, you can see we've got a little test plane in front of us. Uh, I've set up pretty normal, uh, how you would normally set up a plane. Obviously, you've got your roll on your two front wings. You then have your rear or tail. Uh, that's going to be controlling a pitch. And then you also have your yaw or left and right, which is going to be controlled by these two rudders here. Now, to start with, what we need to do is add an altitude sensor. This altitude sensor is obviously going to tell us our altitude, where the plane currently is. The second piece of component that we are going to be needing for this system is going to be our small keypad. The small keypad is going to be useful to input our desired altitude that we want to be at. Now, as far as components is concerned, those are the two components that you need. You then need a couple of little bits of logic. The first bit of logic you're going to need is going to be a switch box. Now, I'm going to place it up on the roof so it's quite easy to see. The reason why we have a switch box, the switch box itself is going to be able to switch our controls from our seat, so the pitch coming from this. It's going to control this, so when we have the system off, we can control it with the seat. When we have the system on, it's then going to take its input from our actual altitude hold system, and then it's going to out it, put it into our gyro itself, which is then going ahead and controlling the up and down or pitch of the plane itself. Now, next thing we're going to be doing is adding the next piece of logic, which is going to be our PID. Now, the PID itself, I'm not going to get into the details of this. Pretty much the principle of it is that it takes one point, measures against the other points, finds how far it needs to get, and then outputs a number to relevant that to obviously get it to where it needs to be. Now, to set the PID up itself, our set point is going to be the small keypad, so this is where we want to be. Our process variable is going to be the altitude that we are currently at. So as I said earlier, it takes your set point, C says, okay, well, this is where we want to be. Takes your process variable with altitude where we are now, measures them together, pronounce an output, and says, okay, we need to go up one to get to that, and then outputs that value. Now that out value of the PID itself is going to go onto our on switch of the actual switch box. How we're going to be controlling this system is simply hotkeying it. I'm going to hotkey it to four. So it's going to turn our PID on. It's also going to switch our signal. So I'm quickly just going to go jump into our seat. Type here and go altitude hold. Fantastic. Once we have that done, the last thing we need to do is go ahead and actually configure the PID now. I like to start with a simple value of 0.1 on the proportional another value of 0.1 on derivative, and then a value of either 0 or 0.0001 on the integral. Now it's up to you, obviously you'll have to see how your plane reacts, and what you want to do is either increase or decrease your, your proportional gain, depending on how fast or how slow it's reacting, and then you can go into fine tuning it by changing the integral on the derivative gain. So that's it, the last thing you want to go ahead and just make sure that you've got electric to everything. So you can see here, we need to just go ahead and get the electric onto our actual small keypad. Everything else is connected. So we can actually go ahead and spawn the plane in now for the first time. If we go ahead to the pilot seat, you can see because we don't have the system activated, we can control the actual pitch of the plane normally by using the actual WS keys as we would normally do. Now, if we were to go ahead and actually change this to a value of say 50 altitude, that's where we want to be, and activate our altitude hold system, you can see now instantly, it's going to want to bring our rudders up to bring the plane up because obviously we're at a low altitude, it wants us to be at 50 where we hit it off, so it's gonna tell it to move up. So what we're going to do is test the system out, deactivate that so we have normal manual control now. I'm gonna start the plane up for the first time, get the throttle up, get it going. We can then go and increase the collective and actually take off like we would usually do with a normal plane. You see we now have taken off. Everything seems to be fine. We're getting a little bit of turbulence, so we're going to go ahead and lower the throttle down a bit. There we go. We are now flying nicely. We can control the plane as we want to. If I'm going to go ahead and actually activate the system, we still have it on 50 altitude. All we have to do is go ahead and press 4. You can see the plane now will nose dive. And we'll continue to dive until it nearly reaches its desired altitude. 
it will then start banking up and it will maintain that altitude for as long as we want. I'm just going to increase the collective and the throttle a bit. And then it will maintain that altitude for as long as we want. Obviously, we can go ahead and change that so we can bring it back to, say, 80. The plane is then going to climb, go up to 80, and then stop, and so on and so forth. You can carry on playing with this. Uh, we can bring it down to 30, for example. Might be a little bit too low, but we'll see now. And there we go. And the plane is just going to continue holding that altitude for as long as we want. We can throw as much weather as we, as we want to it. So we can throw wind at it if we want to. Obviously, the plane will bank left and right because that, we still have manual control of that. However, the altitude will continue to remain the same because of our system. So that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, quite a nice, quick, short video for you guys today. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions about this, so I thought I'd answer all of those. Uh, so as always, guys, uh, comment below what you'd like to see in the next video and any other tutorials that you'd like to see. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button while you're there. Uh, and thank you for watching. Hope you found it somewhat informative and entertaining, as always. And we'll see you in the next one.